Hello friends, this is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel Deep Tech Trainer. Today we will see that how to restore a backup, PRTG backup, if you have reinstalled, if you would like to reinstall the PRTG server or uh, somehow because of any disaster you have lost your hard disk and you would like to up your PRTG server as it was or if I would like to migrate my PRTG server from one system to another physical or virtual machine then uh, by using a, by using an older backup, I can restore my whole PRDG server as it was. First, we will log into the PRDG server to check it out how many devices or the sensor I will, I have already uh, configured into the PRDG. So when I will reinstall the PRDG with the older backup, I will come to know yes, everything have been restored successfully. So my new server is ready with the older settings. So let's log into the PRDG. So from here, I will come to know that how many sensors I had already used. So, so far 76 sensors are there out of 100 sensors. Let's go to the devices. So to check it out the device count, we have to minimize the group. Then I will go to the local group. Here I can see that there are 15 devices. Then let's go to the location where the PRDG takes the backup every day by default. So I'm going to the location where the PRDG takes the backup. Go to the directory, program data directory, C drive, program data, where all the data of the PRDG gets saved. The installation directory would be different in a program files, password, and uh, password directory. So let's go to Fastler here, then Configuration Backups. So as you can see over here, the PR digit takes the configuration backup every day as per the date. I'm going to take whole this folder as a backup. So I'm not going to take only single uh, zip folder. So I'm going to take whole the configuration auto backup folder. So along with that, we have to take the backup of the monitoring database where your all the custom maps and reports get saved and this configuration.dat file as well where your all the settings have been saved. So I'm going to take a backup of these folders, monitoring database, configuration file. Let's copy these folders, copy and I'm going to save this somewhere else. Here, TG backup, and today's date is 25 March. Let's paste. Okay, it's done. So now I'm sure that if anything happens to my PRDG core server, I do have a backup and I can restore it and my PRDG server will be up as it was. So now I'm going to uh, remove my PRDG server along with the older, older files, backups and residue files as well from registry locations. PRTG network monitor tool. I'm going to uninstall it. And yes, yes, I would like to share, remove the components. So after uninstalling the PRTG, I have already uh, restarted my service. Let's check whether the PRTG folders are available or not because I have already deleted them before the restarting. I didn't want anything to be left over so I can be assured when I will uh, restore my backup everything is new and because of that backup or using that backup I have up my new PRTG server properly. So let's go to the installation directory to make sure that there is no any password folders or the files. Program file 686. This is the SNMP tester, but there is no any password folder. 
go back to the program files no password folder then go to the data directory program data so there is no any password folder so I'm sure here that there is no any older files backup files of the PRTG I have already downloaded the PRTG uh, exe trial version exe over here I'm going to reinstall that so let's run the installer So PRTG is being installed on my machine using the default settings. PRTG services are being started over here. We can see that the things are working okay, showing okay. And soon it's going to log in with the. So after installing the PRTG, I'm getting a uh, login page over here using a default username and the password because I haven't restored the older backup I'm getting a default username and password to login with so let's log in with the PRTG let's see what we are getting on a home page itself so I'm getting a 14 sensors as I had a um, 70 plus sensors earlier before installing the PRTG let's go to the devices okay as you can see I'm not getting the any devices that I had installed earlier only this default uh, gateway internet DHCP DNS and the probe device health which is taking uh, taking by a PRDG core server okay so I had many of the devices sensors already configured so it will definitely increase my tasks if I like to add everything from a zero itself that's why the backup is there now I'm going to restore the backup again and let's see I'm getting all the settings uh, other devices again as it was let's do that okay so I'm here where we had taken the backup of the older settings before replacing these files with the new version we have to stop the services first the PRDG core server service I'm going to stop that and then PRDG probe service service uh, as well stop that It's taking time. Just making sure that we are teaching the props of us always. Okay, it's been done. So let's go to the folder, select all, copy, and go to the PRDG data directory that is program data password and uh, I'm going to just delete the existing one and replace the files here and this continue okay continue so I got configuration.dat file, configuration auto backup, and the third folder is monitoring database. So from here, the latest file, uh, okay, this file 145, I will extract, extract, it could be already done here. this file I have to copy and go to the data and will replace here just to make sure that the configuration file need to be the need to be same okay now process is done the backup have been restored now we will start the services PRDG probe service
this takes time. That's great. Now the PRDG core server service was started. Done. Now let's go to the PRTG. As you can see that we have restarted the services. So the home page is going to refresh saying everything is okay. So let's try to log into the PRTG with the restored settings. Here you go that you can see that I had the 76 used sensors before the reinstallation of the PRTG and after reinstallation of the old older backup. Yes, I'm getting the same. Let's go to the devices. Uh -huh. As I can see that I got everything what I, ho I had. Okay, everything is restored and my PRTG server is up with the older settings. Let's go to the setup and the user that I have created to log into the PRTG. Let's try to check it out. Uh, user accounts. Yes, I had that. And yes, I'm having it right now as well. So I hope this session was helpful for you to understand how the PRTG uh, backup works. Okay, the restoration, taking the backup and the restoration is very simple as it is you have to just copy the data and restore or the paste it as as uh, at the same location hardly it will take your half an hour and your prdg new server will be ready as it was working thank you so much for watching my video if you are new to my channel please do like and uh, subscribe my channel thank you so much